Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel ClickView Enthusiast. I am Abhishek, a ClickView learner and in this video I will share my learning about the resident load. So in ClickView, you can load the data in various ways. Couple of examples that I have already shared is uh, the simple load by which you can load uh, different types of files like Excel files, CSV files or any uh, database related files. And uh, recently in the la one of the last videos I have shared how you can uh, do the um, the partial reload and I'm moving ahead in this video to show you another technique about uh, the resident reload uh, so what resident reload is so if you have used any databases so there probably you must have uh, seen the views which uses the base table information and get only the relevant columns that they want to show it into the front end or used it for the processing and don't touch the main table so you can compare the resident load feature here in click view to the views of the uh, databases but in simple english language the resident load feature here in click view enables us to use the already loaded data so that we can do the further processing or manipulation of data within the click view but you may ask that why we can't do the similar processing on the same table itself in which I am already loading the data and well it may be answered uh, in these two sentences the first uh, sentence and the probable reason is that you don't want to mess up with the base table so so that you know uh, the columns are not changed and you are uh, you know you are not having any problem in the front end because probably you have already used this table and the second thing is the aggregation functions like sum or count will not work when your data is loading or whenever you are loading the uh, first or base table these aggregation functions will only work uh, when you have already loaded the data and because of that reason you will have to use the resident load feature for doing the further aggregation of data so let's move on to our uh, script section and see how we can do the resident load so for that I will press Ctrl E shortcut to move into the script editor window. Here you can see that uh, we have already loaded a table called uh, sales by rep or sales by representative or sales representatives and we are loading quarter year sales representative sales their incentive and how much spend or expenses they have made to do the sales. Now let's say that the management is interested to know how much expense they have made to do the sales so for example expense to sales ratio if they want to know uh, in a summary form then we will try to achieve that by using the resident load function so let's move ahead and uh, create a load statement for the resident load so before load let's give a resident table name as uh, expense to sales just a name I am giving and I am saying load and uh, the name of the sales represented because that is important sales rep comma and then the aggregation functions which is sum and the bracket we will say um, spent because that is our expense divided by sum of sorry sum of the bracket and we will get the sales and we will give this column as the name is spans to sales ratio all right and now the important part comes where we will give the keyword resident and that me that basically saying that give us the table name which will you here you know this table is using the data so for this table the resident table is sales by rep because from this table we are fetching the data for the expense to sales table so we will give the name resident sales by rep I'll just pick up this name I hate writing a lot things sales by rep 
and the important part is that whenever you are doing any such aggregation uh, you should always include group by statement group by sales wrap otherwise you may receive the error as uh, invalid syntax or things like that okay so here I will again uh, uh, mention the resident load syntax so it will be first uh, uh, similar to your normal load like this but once you are done with everything you know every column or the aggregation or whatever you want to do here in the resident load uh, you will end up with the resident keyword and the resident table name for this table so for this it is resident uh, it is sales by wrap the base table and then you should use the group by and the name of the field by which you want to do the group by so here we want to do a group by by sales wrap so we are good now let's save this and reload okay now let's create a simple table box like this and see what we have got I will get table box a very simple one from this I will select my table expense to sales table okay and I will first select the sales wrap and this expense to sales ratio simple all right so let's do a little bit of formatting by going into the properties and the number sales to expense ratio this um, in teacher showing percentage okay so now we have a very good picture so Matthew Ronald is basic for him the expense to sales ratio is 2% which is very good the highest one is Michelle Atkinson who is doing a 7% of expense to get the required sales which is high and these guys are like very good Naomi Trend 1% Church Jones 1% so in this way they can see the effectiveness of sales reps how much expense they are doing for getting the sales so this is basically a dummy data so here just uh, it is an example not uh, very relevant figures but this, this should give you an idea about why we use the resident load and why it is important so i hope you will find this video useful and uh, um, you can use these real-time techniques in your uh, you know scripts whenever you have such requirement and I hope you will find it useful so I will meet you in the next video with a new uh, topic till then bye bye